So we're going to finish, not the vlog, but it's going to be a three on three. The first two uh, are kind of a small little series inside the vlog, just talking about uh, the run on its own and the bike part on its own. And now we're doing the swimming leg, which is going to happen at the Y. So we got the the hunter to warm up done, and now we're gonna go into race pace. All right, it's a little foggy in here. Let's see if I can clean this lens off a little bit. Um, so we're gonna do an easy warm up. And that's a lot better. We're gonna do an easy warm up. Uh, probably do an easy, probably 200. And then we're gonna do the rest, probably race pace. And then we're gonna finish up with a cool down. Oh, so welcome to the video. And this is going to be a vlog, but it's also gonna be a topic on swimming and what swimming can do for you and your body. I'm gonna break it down. Um, I'm gonna be very precise. We're gonna talk about technique because technique is very important. And we're gonna talk about, you know, your stroke and how you feel and different things like that. So let's get it started. Welcome to the video. All right, swim complete. Check the box. And it looks like 225 for 2225, saying seven hours recovery. But then the bike computer said 19. So that's a good night's rest. So we did a quick warm up, forgot to set the watch. And I was thinking, man, I am so thankful that I have the Garmin device because I used to be able to take my ring and put it on the tiles and count my laps. And I'll take my wedding ring and I would move it every lap. And then when I got done, I would have my shoe at one side of where I started counting the tiles and my other shoe at the other side where I started counting the tiles. And then each tile was 25 meters. And when I come back, I would slide it down and slide it down. And that's how I counted. Now I have the Garmin and it does all the work for you. It's nice. So we're going to talk about oh, swimming and the technique behind it and where the foundation, foundation started for me. All right, so we're in the car because we got rained out. But to finish up the video, we're gonna talk about, um, let me get some more light in here. Let me see a little bit better. If we get a little bit, there we go, a little more light in here. We're gonna talk about swimming. Um, it's part of the vlog series. Um, the main vlog for this whole series is Ironman Hain City 70.3, not to confuse you, but then I'm doing just a few episodes um, or vlogs within the vlog about, like I said, swimming, biking, and running. Um, so, little side note with Iron Man with their bag system. I was kind of thinking about it just now. They use a color, color scheme. The blue bag is for bike, B for bike, and the red bag is red for R for run. So I thought that was kind of cool to how they do that. And then I think the swim bag is black, I think. I, I can't remember. But that's the main things in transition is the blue bag for bike, B for bike, 
and then R for run and R for red for your run bag. So those are the, the ones that you will have to identify. Not so much on a half, but on a full, the transition does get a little crazy, but very, very well organized. If you're used to a, an Ironman or a triathlon race being organized, Ironman is the top of the list. Uh, Integrity, which is a smaller organization that does like sprints, uh, a lot of runs and whatnot, they're, they're really good. But uh, today's training, let's talk about that a little bit. So I started out with the bike. I did 50 miles in three hours. I think it was about a 17, 16 to 17 mile an hour pace. Not bad. The only challenge was it was raining the whole time. And I got back and I was telling my family, I was like, man, this was a hard ride. Not to just, you know, sound defeated or anything. And I was thinking it. They were thinking it. They're like, well, if it rains when you're training, it's just going to help your training. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Now, do I set out to set up a bike ride when it's raining? No, I don't. It just happened to to, to plan that way. Because it was scattered showers and it was like 60%. And it wasn't really supposed to rain at 60%, but it did. And it was like misting, raining, and it was just, it was a challenge. But I pushed through. Uh, like anything, I believe when you're training, the mental block is there. Like when I do 100 miles um, Leadville, when I get picked for the lottery and I complete that race, it'll, it'll become a mind over your body for sure. Uh, moving on to, with the training, um, the next thing I had was lunch. And I'm really glad that I had a good lunch. And I also had a big breakfast too. So I had a big breakfast and then the bike and then a big lunch and then a big swim. Um, that was like a lot of uh, race pace work. Really good. Um, and then I finished up with a run. And the run was eight minute pace for hills. I'm getting strong on the hills. And even after all that today, I mean, I feel good right now. Um, I'm not really fatigued at all. I really feel, I feel really strong. Uh, even on the run, I felt strong after those two big training blocks with the bike and the uh, swim. But no, I feel really strong. Um, I don't know, it's just a, it was a good, good training day. A uh, couple of things on this part of the blog. The basically the one in three of these editions that I'm talking about with the bike, the run, and now the swimming is I really want to focus on the swimming. And like I go back to foundation, I don't mean to sound like a broken record. As a kid, I remember like your parents pretty much just threw you into the water and you either swim or drown and i learned how to swim very quickly now that's my dad's philosophy you know god rest his soul but my mother was more like level-headed and she's like let's put him into swimming lessons i'm like okay that makes sense let's put him into swimming lessons so they put me into swimming lessons and that was one of the summers that I got my scalp burnt because in the 90s we didn't really know about sunblock per se we use suntan lotion and that was supposed to protect us from the sun but obviously suntan lotion actually draws the sun to you and I remember getting my head burnt one summer and it was uh, very hot I think it scalded me for life but I peeled I pushed through it it was no big thing but I did learn to uh, swim at the local swimming hole um, other than that when I was a 
teenager, I was jumping off bridges into the ocean, swimming, jumping off uh, dams and like spillways. And those are like really small. They're not like your big like dams you see in the movies. These are like 10 feet in the air dams. Uh, jumping off uh, railroad tracks, jumping uh, out of trees from about 30 feet in the air. Just wild and, and crazy stuff. Uh, spent a lot of time swimming across pits as a kid. Uh, alligators didn't really fear them or worry about them. It's kind of like your dad and your your mom or your parents were just like, don't mess with things like that. They won't mess with you. And I guess they were right or an angel was watching over me. But on any account, I still swim in lakes today, open water lakes, and never had an issue. So, and even when I swim in the ocean on some of my triathlons, I don't even think about it. Like sharks or octopuses or eels or whatever, you know, could get you. Um, but no, I, I believe, you know, all of that kind of built me for this part in my life to do with a lot of cardio. And I just believe from the foundation from when I was a kid, it, it kind of stuck with me. Now, I do remember, you know, using my wedding ring and using the tiles to count the laps. And it might take me, I don't know, 10 minutes to do 100 meters. I mean, I would, there was a lot of stopping, I remember. And now I just like push through. And now, since I built that foundation of swimming, you know, back when I was like eight years old until now, even though there was a little bit of a lapse of time of swimming, it's still in you. Your muscles still remember, you know, those movements, muscle memory, of course, everybody knows about that. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good time in my life. And I'm thankful that I just wasn't under a rock with cardio. I was able to run as a kid, bike as a kid, and swim as a kid. And now I just put it together and competitively, just when I'm doing a training block, at this point, I got it figured out, I can get it done. Um, any race, any time, name the place. It's just now the challenge is getting faster. That is a challenge that is accepted, is to get faster. And with my foundation and my technique with swimming, I've been getting faster. There's like little things that I do, like I hold my hands out and I go down when I pull. For years, I was doing like this and pulling in and losing all that pull momentum. And then it was just as simple as a little training exercise. I hold my hands out on the outside of the black line and not on the inside of the black line. So if I was swimming and the pool was two and a half feet, three feet deep, and I hit the bottom of the pool when I swim, I would not hit the black line. My hand will be on the outside of the black line and I would hit the actual pool um, tile, or not tile, pool um, plaster, I guess what it'd be, but I would not hit the black tile. Now, the way I used to swim is I swim in and then I would hit the black tile if I was you know, in a shallow enough pool. Um, but yeah, that that knocked off like 30 seconds because I was, I don't know, if, if I really push myself, I can carry about a 150 pace. And when I did that, I started, um, you know, carrying the 150 pace. But before that, I was carrying about a 230, 239 roughly, consistently. Now, when I do my training, and I'm doing a training block, that's kind of what my pace will be, um, you know, for a warm up. Now, my race pace is around 210. Um, definitely trying to knock that down with different techniques. I think, I mean, even though swimming is the easiest, I'm gonna say swimming is the hardest to get better and faster. Short of hiring a coach, which is probably what I'm gonna have to do is either hire a triathlon coach or just hire a swimming coach and then I can kind of put you know everything else together it's just swimming 
even though it's the easiest in the sport I feel it's the hardest to get faster at well I just want to finish up this vlog with this swimming addition with techniques and the next time I get on here once I get these two videos uploaded I got one before this I got to upload to complete this cycle I'm gonna break down the race um, that I've been a part of for many many years which is gonna be Ironman Hane City 70.3 so I hope that you share that and we can get it out to all the athletes because it's really going to help them because I'm hoping that I can find a social media media channel to get that to the people clicking first Iron Man 70.3 Haines City what do I do where's the video well it's coming so please please watch that it's gonna be a lot of good information especially if you're gonna be one of the racing athletes out there so thank you for watching about swimming and swimming techniques and the good and the bad and the in-between. So we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.